Good morning. Welcome to the Gospel of Luke. We're at Luke chapter 16, verses 3 and 4. Jesus is telling parables, and we've taken this one again over a number of days, uh, a few days anyway. Let's look at verses 3 and 4. So this guy's been accused, and the, his master says, okay, you're going to have to come and give an account uh, for yourself, and you're going to have to show me, you know, show me the goods. We're going to find out what's going on here. So let's see what happens. Verse 3, then the steward said within himself, what shall I do? For my master is taking the stewardship away from me. I cannot dig. I am ashamed to beg. I have resolved what to do, that when I am put out of the stewardship, they may receive me into their houses. So basically here, this guy's hatching a plan. We'll see more about that tomorrow morning, how he enacts his plan. But uh, let's look at some things we learn about the steward. What shall I do? He's worried. He's very concerned because there is some problems with his accounting. There really is. The accusations are true. And uh, this guy is as crooked as uh, is the crookedest river you've ever seen. He's very crooked. So what shall I do? My master is taking stewardship away from me. He says, I cannot dig. Now, we don't know if this guy had some kind of a physical thing, like he just he, he couldn't physically dig. He was not strong enough. He had a lame arm or something. Uh, or was he just like thought that instead of being down here, he was way up here somewhere and like, that's below me. I can't dig. We don't know. But he says he won't dig. He's ashamed to beg, okay, so he doesn't want to do that. So uh, what have we got here? I know what I'm going to do. He's got a plan. He's going to hatch a plan now. We'll see it tomorrow morning. He's going to hatch a plan. But the reason he has to hatch a plan is because he's a dishonest steward. He's not faithful. And now he's going to try to sneak his way through. There's a problem. There's a moral problem and so when you have one moral problem, many times you have to execute other moral problems on top of it to try to get out of it. And in the end, you don't get out of it. In the end, it'll all, it's all coming out, right? So anyway, here we're going to learn more as we go. Let's pause. Let's pray. Father in heaven, uh, we see the unjust steward here. He's got to hatch a plan. Help us, Lord, to never have to hatch a plan Help us to just be faithful and be right, and uh, the good things will work out the way they should. But Lord, we we often go astray. Oh, please help us not to follow the example of the unjust steward and being unjust. But there is a lesson we'll see here uh, that we should learn. And so, again, give us wisdom. We thank you for hearing our prayer. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, join me tomorrow morning, and let's see what happens when he puts his uh, plan, his plan because I'm a cheating, uh, lying kind of a person. I've got to do this. Uh, I've got to add sin on top of sin. Let's see what, his, what he does with that. In the meantime, let you and I not do that. You be blessed.